Welcome to another Killzone Shadow Fall video. My name is Mario Carrion, and in this episode I will give you my final impressions about the most recent DLC, Intercept, which happens to be the long-awaited co-op expansion and the first confirmed digital content since before the release of the game. Let's start with the basics of this DLC, the price. It's free if you already own the Season Pass, which is $19.99. If you don't have the Season Pass, you will have to pay $9.99 to get this co-op mode. There is a third option, getting the standalone version, which will be available in early August for $14.99. Now, what is included in Intercept? Intercept includes, to date, four maps the highway, the DMC, the outpost, and the market, which are not a lot, but they are not going to be the only maps available for this game mode. Guerrilla Games has confirmed more maps will be coming soon, and similar to the multiplayer maps, those co-op maps will be free of charge as well. Intercept supports up to 4 players, and it has to be played online. There is no bot zone version, and you cannot play this using a split screen either. So 4 players for different PlayStation 4. Each one of the 4 players will have the option to select one of the 4 classes available, Medic, Assault, Tactician and Marksman. Each class has its own weapons and abilities, and each of them is meant to complement the others in one way or another, and more importantly, each class can only be selected once, meaning 2 players cannot select the same class twice so not to assault players, for example. So how does it work? You basically have three options to play the game. There is no preset difficulty. Again, according to Guerrilla Games, the AI is improved depending on the team. So a great team will have a more intelligent enemies, for example. So what are these three options then? You have quick, regular, and long. And the difference between all three of them consist in the amount of points you have to score. The mechanics of the game are simple. You have three uplink beacons, which are captured by default starting the game. The Helgas will start spawning and they will try to capture those beacons. Having those beacons captured will give you mission points, which are the points you need to score to win the game. There is another type of points, the ones called personal points, which are rewarded to you by killing enemies using your abilities or recapturing the beacons. Those personal points can be traded for powerful temporary bonuses like jetpacks, miniguns or artillery strikes. The key with those personal points is that you have to bank them if you want to make them count towards the mission points. Keeping your personal points with you increases your points multiplier but you also run the risk of losing everything if you happen to die. In that case, if you die and the medic cannot revive you, you have the option to spawn again, but spawning back in will decrease your mission points. The game is won if you score the total of the amount of points required, or the game is lost if everybody dies. Besides the regular Helgas like the ones you see in the multiplayer, there are occasions where tougher enemies spawn, kind of like mini bosses. These enemies have a lot of health and use more powerful weapons, so attacking them as soon as possible is always a good idea. With all that said, what do I think about this game mode? Is this the game mode all Killzone fans were waiting for? I think people will have different thoughts and feelings. I personally like the DLC, but I think it becomes repetitive too fast after a while. And yes, you also can say the same thing for all other kind of games. I feel like 4 maps is not enough, but since there are new maps coming soon, I can deal with it. Now regarding price and the value it offers, assuming you didn't buy the season pass, I recommend you not to buy this DLC only, it really doesn't make too much sense, I mean, buy the season pass instead, you get the insurgent DLC and some other goodies, same case if you don't have the retail game and you were planning to get the standalone version only. Getting the season pass to me makes more sense if you want to play this DLC. Intercept is definitely something different in the Killzone universe, and as a Killzone fanboy you have to play it. Having the option to get Intercept 
as a standalone version. Cool sound tempting, but to me it isn't. I think you will be missing out if you only get the standalone. And I repeat it, if you don't have Killzone Shadowfall and you are interested in playing this new game mode, buy Killzone Shadowfall first, which now is practically half price, and then get the season pass to get the full experience. Getting this DLC alone to me makes no sense at all, and in the end you won't appreciate it. That's all I have for you this time, comrade. If you played Intercept already, what do you think about it? If not, are you planning getting it? And please consider rating the video or even subscribing to the channel for more Killzone content. My name is Mario Carrion, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Until then, take care.